Hey, good evening. It's Monday, June 8th. I'm done for the day after work. So I had a little chat with the missus to double check where the uh, range is gonna sit. And uh, that is the center line of the range. I wanted this gas pipe to come out right in the middle of the range. And we're kind of there, close enough. And, uh, and pretty much as low as possible too. So, I mean, I could actually, you know, whatever, right? So, um, this has already been, I pressure tested it to 120 PSI and soaked it up, this joint and that joint. And this is just a plug here. And if it doesn't leak at 120, I don't think it's going to leak at one half of a PSI. So I'm comfortable with that. Um, my electric outlet, I want right on that X right there. And then I'll be able to plug in my range from underneath where the drawer is. There's a little opening in the back. So I don't have to worry about making connections or whatever. And then sliding the range back, I'll be able to install the range fully in its place. Be able to plug that in and then just stuff the wires in, in the open space back here. And uh, this will have a flexible pipe. I'm gonna put an elbow on this pointing that way. And the flexible pipe is gonna come around and right around here is where the, uh, uh, closer to the middle, I guess. This is gonna be behind the plywood. So there won't be any interference. And uh, the electric, there's plenty of room for that. I got lots of slack. So that's kind of a done deal. I was waiting to figure out how and where all that was gonna go before I could continue uh, putting the walls in. Uh, this is gonna have an outlet somewhere over here and I'm just gonna have to pick a spot. Uh, probably, I don't know, some reasonable distance higher than the countertop and just call today, whatever, and somewhere in right where those are hanging. Um, yeah, so this is good. The, uh, the gas pipe for the uh, water heater is good to go. What else? That's it in here. Let me shut the AC off. I'll show you what I was doing outside. AC off. Okay, um, I'm sure you recognize the color. I cut up some of the leftovers from the uh, side of the bus that I removed for the compartments. And uh, what I'm looking for is 26 high, I mean 24 high by 29 and a half wide. And that does it pretty much right about there. I, uh, I can adjust here the amount of overlap I need. And this is gonna go behind the right rear wheel to protect the propane tank. 16 gauge steel ought to be pretty good. Probably uh, would take a beating if I had a tire blow out or something, but uh, it's it'll stay in place. We're gonna put a, this, attach this to the body. Um, there's an angular support. It's wide at the top and narrow at the bottom where the outside skin is to support the outside skin, the skirting. This is gonna bolt up against that. Across the top, it's gonna to get a piece of angle steel, which I have an abundance of since I overbought the other day. And down this side, I'll have a piece of angle steel. And I'll probably put a piece of angle steel across the bottom just to stiffen it up. Uh, I'll see how that goes after I get into it over there. But uh, this is a good, it's a good feeling to have this made up. 